There were a bunch of people that were wrong about Element RC's new Enduro 12. When they made the announcement about this rig, everybody said it's just a rebatched team associated CR12 with a new body. And that isn't exactly the case. There's actually 17 new parts on this car, making it quite different from the CR12. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all the stuff that's new on it, tell you about everything that comes in the box. We're gonna go out and have some fun with it. And then I'm gonna tell you how you can have fun with this kit without even driving the truck. Here's the truck out of the box and it looks pretty cool, right? It's a ready to run. The only thing you're gonna need to pick up for it is four AA batteries for the radio system. But this is a 1 12th scale four x four. So it's a little bit smaller than a 10 scale model and a bit bigger than one of their 24 scale models. And I think it's a pretty good size, especially if you're driving around the house. I know a couple spots around my house where I'm going to drive this thing. But check out the body. It's the Sendero style body. That's the first body they had on their 110 scale ready to run when the when Element was released to the public. Pretty cool looking body, just a boxy pickup truck. I love the bright blue. They've used a similar blue before in their lineup, but just simple decals, uh, decals for the windows. No extra paint anywhere on this, not even in the bed. I might go spray that black actually, but uh, you know, it's got the cool Sendero look. A lot of us love the style of the truck and it's a nice lightweight body. Up front, they have a new bumper, pretty unique design, a little mesh in the front and everything. You can't exactly put a, uh, a winch through the front there, but you know, maybe with a little modification, anything is possible. But that's really about it. Four body clips hold on the body. And uh, actually, let's check out the wheels and tires, which is another new part to, specific to the Enduro 12. They've got chrome wheels now and, you know, a off-road trail style tire. A nice tread. A little bit on the firm side, in my opinion. Probably just good for trailing around the house type of stuff. All right, let's pull the body off and see what's new underneath. And again, at first glance, it's going to look like a CR12. It's got to look like the MT12 uh, Mad Van that they have, which was a lot of fun, by the way. But the frame rails on this are now aluminum. There's a little bit of extra cross bracing all over the place, uh, which is composite. These pieces that come up underneath the shock towers, uh, both front and rear. There's a new battery box in here. Uh, it's the battery's held down with Velcro strap. Looks like a new radio plate as well. It's one of the parts on the list. But yeah, nice, simple layout, easy to access everything. I think I had the transmission out in, in less than a minute, just four screws on the bottom, one to pull out the yoke. That thing came right out. But speaking of the drivetrain, that transmission case is new. There's ball bearings throughout this kit. The new transmission case has plastic internal gears like we've seen before on their uh, 112th models. Metal pinion gear, of course. Larger gear down towards the bottom. Then it's got slider drive shafts down to the front and rear axles which are new, new axle cases and the new steering knuckles on the outside and get this guys, the axles have metal gears. We wanted to see that from this type of setup from Team Associated Element and they gave it to us in this crawler setup. They also have new CV drive shafts in the front. So it's a new axle shaft out to the wheel, 12 millimeter hex and a, a new metal shaft that goes into the, the metal gears. The rear axles also a new setup like the trust for bracing in the back, new metal axles in side metal gears in there as well and ball bearings so some improvements stuff that we wanted to see which is very cool suspension setup on here oil filled shocks we've seen these before that was just carried over uh, new links set on the bottom these are composite links but they have the, uh, the, the cross style shape to them so they're a bit more sturdy than uh, let's just say a, a solid round link but there's still some flex to these and there's actually metal pivot balls in this setup which I like seeing over the plastic or even the nylon style now up front the, for the steering they've mounted the servo on the axle uh, unlike the the CR12 and the the MT, which had it on the chassis. And now you have that direct link set up. The steering links are metal, which is very cool. And a solid uh, servo arm off the servo. Might as well get into the electronics and the servo itself doesn't have any branding or anything on the front of it. So I'm gonna guess, uh, judging by the look of it, it looks like it's a plastic output on there. So kind of your basic servo. Uh, they have the MT380 motor to power this thing and simple bullet plugs that hook it up to the speed controller. Speed controller's got a T-plug. And the speed controller itself is actually the two-in-one unit. And this is from FlySky. It allows you to go and add a bunch of LED lights if you want to. There's actually no light buckets in the body, but you'd be able to do that if, let's say, if you throw, find an aftermarket body to throw on, or maybe you just poke 
some lights through the Lexan, but that is an option. A uh, good speed controller setup from FlySky. And because it's got the FlySky 2-in-1 in it, that means it also comes with a FlySky radio system, which is pretty good basic radio, 2.4 gigahertz, uh, basic digital trims actually. And then it's got the dip switches so you could go and adjust things like uh, your running mode, your battery type, and even your drag brake. So I'm liking what I'm seeing here for a 12 scale model. Let me just show you what else comes in the kit. You're gonna find your 850 milliamp light ion battery pack with the, the other side of that T plug, a USB charger uh, bag with some servo arms, it looks like some Allen wrenches and a few other random parts. And you're gonna get your instruction manual. And finally, in this bag here, you're gonna find a decal sheet. So you can go customize the look of your body if you want to. I might do that. All right guys, finally got out with the Enduro 12 and of course it starts to snow again, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. Time to have fun with this little truck. I've been really excited to drive it. And so far it's been a lot of fun. First up, let's talk about the suspension. Look how it's just working over the rocks. I think they did a really good job with the geometry on it. I know it's got plastic links and the shock bodies are plastic, but it all just seems to work well right out of the box. So it is pretty cold out and that does affect the tires a little bit, but uh, this thing is crawling up pretty well, especially since the rocks are all wet. If uh, I get any wheel spin, all I gotta do is back it up a little bit and punch it. It's got plenty of power to make it over. So steering wise, it turns pretty well when there's no load on the tires. That's pretty good turning radius right there. The only thing I notice is it does stall out if you get it bound up in the rocks and for the type of servo that's in there, it's to be expected, but for ready to run, it's gonna work well if you're just having fun. Check it out guys, they're building my house over there. I'm gonna put the track over on that side and the crawler course over there. Just kidding, I'm not that big of a YouTuber. Back to the Enduro 12. This thing's got some scoot to it. You can just blast through the rocks. When we get down to the flat stuff, watch this. That's some decent power. You know, Team Associate put that 2-in-1 FlySky unit in the truck and it feels pretty smooth. And then here on the FlySky radio, you could adjust the drag brake with these switches and that's really helped with the descent control on this rig. Well guys, I think we need to deem this rig the fun size scale truck. It's been an absolute blast to drive, even in the cold weather. 
pretty good stuff, right guys? You know, I think the Enduro 12 is a good deal at $200. It's very capable out there on the rocks, and it's just a little bit smaller than a 10 scale. And right now the 110 scale elements are starting at about $300. And then you gotta get the battery and charger on top of it. So I think this is a lot of fun right out of the box. People are going to enjoy it. The only thing I would do to it is I'd move the battery from the rear to the front to get a little bit of weight over the, the wheels. And then the other things to consider are the options out there. I think you'll be able to outfit it with some electronics, uh, but when it comes to options, this truck is a bit limited, I think, until it catches on. Now, in the beginning of the video, I did mention that there is more fun than just driving the box, and that is this right here. Inside element boxes, they usually give you a garage, but with this kit, they gave us a board game. This is pretty cool. If you got some buddies to hang out in the workshop, this was probably a fun game to play, kind of like shoots and ladders, which I dominated at when I was a kid, but uh, they give you the, the little chips to use as player pieces. They give you a wheel uh, that you can put together and spin. You just got to cut everything out. I actually just went and used a six sided dice and uh, some chess pieces because I want to keep the box. But, uh, you know, I could open it up, have fun with it. And it's just really cool. That element packs in a lot of fun in their RC kits. I'll have links for everything in the video description below.